alpha droid for redmi 7 and redmi y3 some of you guys are asking me for doing that review uh, and here is the review of alpha droid okay i will share with you guys full details in uh, about that custom rom it is usable or not so let's get it started and of course android 13 this one too and previously i did a review of octavio os and which is uh, really really great and still everyone is liking that octavio os best android 13 custom rom um, like lineage os lineage is always better but lineage os never pass safety net by default and lineage os doesn't have extra customization which octavio os provides so uh, that was really really good response from you guys and really uh, appreciated so here we have the device info about ram which use 74 percent every single details are available here and which cores and everything and i i already changed the kernel here the kernel i am using in that custom rom which is called alpha droid i am using the octavi os kernel here and i suggest you guys to use that kernel and if you want to use the default kernel you can also do that no problem with that and here we have all single details everything is there android version 13 and we have api level 33 and cpu and there is no issues on core 6 5 and 7 and there is no lag and stack so these are good things then we have the network connectivity all thing are perfect here then we have the memory display and everything every details are there and device info i already shared it with you guys now let's get started and we have a first a very very first animation in uh, closing and uh, opening applications okay let me show you that one and this is very very fast and like uh, octavi os we have a call recorder also in that build so let me show you that auto call recording is and this is working no issues with that and the animation is quicker when very very quicker really really cool and if you like faster animation then of course you can go with that one and i will uh, show you every single details about that room uh, maybe we have some good points and bad points i i i, I don't want to uh, say points bad points because i found only one issues in that uh, custom room and maybe uh, that will be a bummer for some people okay let me continue the video and we have the default music player and i'm using here nick gap score like always i did then let me show you from the settings what we have and different user interface in settings okay here we have the alpha droid logo and this is cool then we have the alpha droid version which is 1.7 and build there and other things and kernel version use here and kernel i'm using here the octavio os kernel so don't worry about that i will uh, drop the link of that octavio os kernel and i recommend you guys to use that kernel and you will get better performance and then get back and as usual system you know i don't want to waste your time by showing that things now okay let's uh get into the security system and we have the face unlock fingerprint and app lock everything is fine i already checked perfectly working then we have the apps now uh, unused apps default apps and special app access then we have sound and vibration like as before we have the user interface same like as other usb based custom rom and we have what here uh, let me show you Okay, adaptive playback is not there. Okay, then let me show you the wallpaper and style. Here is the wallpaper and style, and we have some customization as well. Then we have the display setting, live display, dark theme, double tap to wake and double tap to sleep, and fine. These are fine, working, no issues with that. And if you want to go on battery section, then click here. And if you want to go network section then click here okay you guys can do force let me show you
here is the force LTE CA that means force LTE carrier aggregation to work you can enable that thing then we have the alphabet which is there will be goodies that means the customization hub is here and you guys can change the user interface okay now let me show you the status bar as usual the regular customizations actually huge customizations are available in that custom room uh, as usual you guys already know i already showed in so many videos uh, which actually available in that status bar style and you guys can change a huge collections of logos are there you guys can change it i'm using here the alpha right which i am using right now then battery percentage quick pull down double tap to sleep and these are fines working perfectly status bar then we have quick settings brightness slider battery percentage height cues security in lock screen background transparency and uh, animation style qs space transition so let me show you that important thing which is uh, we have the new customization here uh, we don't get that customizations in uh, many rooms we get in a few rooms very few and here you guys can see the animations okay let me show you these are the page transition animation this is cool okay and you guys can change it if we have huge collection you guys can change according to your choice which you want then we guys can enable here qs haptic feedbacks and data users clear all notification buttons oh these are good no issues then we have the buttons click to partial screenshot reorient keyboard cursor control all are good then we have lock screen we have lock screen customization quirk font style you can change use collections are there as usual then we have double uh, battery info fingerprint double tap to sleep and uh, ripple effect everything is there okay now leave notifications okay have a look uh, use app color background and noisy and uh, notifications for stop button everything is there actually huge collections are there of customizations then we have the navi navigation bar sound and we have the sound customizations you can do as well then we have the miscellaneous which is here we have the gaming space and i have added clash of clans here and you guys can do better gaming no issues and unlock higher fps in games and unlimited cool photos and storage and these are good things and high developer status if you want to do that of course you can do then let's talk about the user interface you guys can change the setting ui and other customizations which is called user interface ambient display if you want you can use a screen of animation monitor settings if you need you can do i'm using here the rainbow and both default color source okay luminance chroma and tint background everything is present brightness bar style brightness bar style i'm using here the brightness bar style you guys can see here the brightness bar it's not like a typical android 13 android 12 12.1 like it's customizable okay it is customizable and we have his uh, collections here you guys can change and check according to choice which one you prefer you guys can select and let me show you here the notification style notification style also can be changed cyberpunk cyberpunk 2 and we have huge collections there okay just check yourself as qs panel style we also can change qs panel style i am already using that one you guys can change any okay let me show you that one um, bottom outline okay you can see it's strange and now cyberpunk actually uh, its name is cyberpunk not punk I don't know why they did like this so change according to your choice which one you prefer and then we have here the UI style set custom style espresso paint in the small vivid theme hues just change according to your choice here as well navigation bar style you can also change if you don't use the uh, gestures and qs panel style qs panel style okay i already showed it then we have here the signal icon style wi-fi icon style and other things floating rotate button everything is fine okay these are the customizations and i had to show you and i had to share with you guys now i will show you some screenshots which is very important okay uh, before changing kernel 
I got this 77% of its max performance and after changing kernel I got this 82% of its max performance and it will be stable more day by day so that's it and if you face something like that here this camera is already in use try closing app using it then you guys need to restart the device and let me show you before changing the kernel I got this score and after changing the kernel I got this score so this uh, we don't have very much different but uh, difference and you, you you guys will get that get that is your difference if you keep using you will get in performance and if you face a problem like this then definitely you have uh, using you have used locked uh, app, uh, app locker in your file manager if you face this problem then just then just remove uh, from app lock then use it will be fixed no problem A safety net passed by default no issues with that and all these are good perfect and still now I didn't get any issues okay all the customizations miscellaneous and hidden and protected application you guys can hide any applications no problem and you guys can change icon pack uh, just uh, click on that plus button and go to place to download according to your choice and uh, install and use okay no problem these are the things and there is no issues with complaint uh, with uh, customizations and its smoothness but only one thing I found here which is the Google camera you guys won't be able to use Google camera it will be freeze or it will be forced close automatically uh, so this is that just like this you won't be able to use it I, and, and I tried so many G camps and at, uh, this didn't work so this as a review I hope you guys understand so thank you for watching